This is Android Explained, and today I'm going to show you how to add a new experimental feature to Chrome, which adds a tab bar to the very bottom of the page. Now, Google has been working on the user interface for the Chrome Android application for a while. In previous tutorials, I've shown you a gesture of how to switch between your tabs without having to go to the tab switcher user interface. And Google is actually working on a new feature that adds a tab bar to the bottom that actually looks like this. So today I'm going to show you how to enable this tab bar at the bottom of your Chrome application screen and show you how it works. All right, now this feature is only available as of right now in Chrome beta. So to use this, you're gonna to need to go into the Google Play Store, do a search for Chrome beta, and then download and install this specific version of the application. Once we have that installed, we can go ahead and open it up and we're just going to go into a new tab because we need to type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags to take us to the chrome flag section and again like I said this is an experimental feature so use it at your own risk. It's not going to mess up your device or anything. It's not going to eat up a whole bunch of battery. You just might not see this tab bar work 100% of the time. It might glitch out. It might make you force close the app to bring it back up. It's currently being developed and worked on, so you're going to see a lot of updates to this in the future. Once we are in the Chrome Flags page, we can just go ahead and search. And we just search for tab space strip. That seems to be the feat, the name for this feature right now. And then we tap on that button below it. And I just selected enable immediate. You can choose to simply enable it or enable it for 60 minutes. It's up to you. Once it is enabled, you're going to see a prompt that tells you to relaunch the app. And whenever you tap that button, it will force close the app and open it back up. When you open it back up and you load a web page, you should see the tab bar appear at the bottom. And this tab bar is going to look very similar to the way Chrome tabs look on a desktop. Except this time it's at the bottom and it's displayed in a series of circular buttons instead of actual rectangular tabs. But it works the same as the tab, so we can tap from one tab to the next directly from this tab strip down at the bottom, the tab bar. You can see it does go away sometime. You can make it come back. We can tap the X to make it go away. You can see that it'll close. We can open it back up. You can see that it loads it back again. We just have to load a website. We can even open new tabs from here by tapping on the plus button instead of, again, the whole reason for this is all of this is accessible down here. Instead of having to reach all the way up at the top to use gestures to tap the tab switcher, it's all accessible down here and we can go from each one with relative ease with our thumb. So it is a shame that for now, this feature is only available in the beta version of Chrome. I feel it is definitely worth checking out. 
and most likely you won't even realize you are using the beta version of Chrome after you use it for a while, as long as you edit the application icon on your device. But that is how to enable the tab bar or the tab strip at the bottom of Chrome now.